Alright guys, we have a uh, RCI 2995DXCF. CF stands for the fan on the back. Um, let's see, what's different about this radio? So you might notice a red light on the front phono jack. <clears throat> um, that was installed for a high power. Right now it's on a regular high power and that is low power switch on the back. The switch also turns the fan circuit off. You don't need the fan uh, when it's in low power just in the high power to cool things off. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I got a little cold. Uh, so, this radio came in to me. The person that had it, they overdrive it. I mean, look, these radios are made, they, they can only do so much. So we turn them down to a usable wattage and we strive to get the highest amount of modulation without clipping. Uh, out of the radio you're going to see a lot of radios on here oh, 180 200 blah 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 look you overdrive these radios they're going to blow transistors just like this one did and you're going to have problems it's not an easy radio to work on with surface mount it's double-sided board so uh if you're not familiar with them don't even get involved with bumping up the, the, the wattage you don't need it you need the modulation. Modulation is what counts in the in the game. But uh, <clears throat> so you'll see here, uh, dead key. I have it aligned to my uh, bird meter, so, so you can see a little under ten, and that's a hundred watt slug in there, and that's a little under ten. Just so you know that this meter here is calibrated to the uh, bird meter, because you'll see a lot of things. Here's your carrier signal hello hello get a good signal out of her i have a loose connection on there so it might come and go a little <clears throat> it's the only one i have uh so you'll see high power let me put it over to the 200 scale dead key around 10 audio 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 so we're bumping up to about 130 140 Look at that swing. Hello. Hello. And then uh, <clears throat> what we could do, we could put it in a low power. Put it back there. See low power, dead keys. Kind of put it towards what I do with the Cobra 2000s. So you can see we're dead key about half a watt. Hello. Hello. You go to about 13, 14 watts, which is great if you're driving a smaller amp that you want to drive. Uh, <clears throat> radio works great I have it on 28 meg you can see that it's on Oop, what did I hit here oh my low let me put it back on I don't have enough power yeah, you're right on 28 megahertz everything works good uh, receive is great test the receive with my uh, signal generator it has uh, blocks out uh, unwanted noise very well it's a very very good radio um, if it's something you're looking for, it does have the uh, 27 um, meg chip in it, so you can do 27 uh, megahertz for CB also. Here you go, 27 250. Now you got your oh, band back. There we go. I always forget that. The reason I'm showing you on this meter, I don't have a pep kit on my uh, bird. It's not working. So you can see, I mean, it swings. Audio. Good radio, good radio. So if you're looking for a radio that was just gone over, um, <clears throat> you can see this is the switch here on the back for the high-low. Um, what else was done to this radio? Oh, yes. Um, if you look in the pictures, so, so what they did with these radios, they designed this radio decently. They did a good job. They separated the units. Uh, but what they didn't do a good job was protecting the circuit board and the components inside. The only thing they protect is the power supply with the big fuse on the back. So this doesn't need a big fuse. That's why we have a lot of problems with these radios. These transistors will blow because you get some over, vol yeah, over voltage. So what we did on the bottom side, we did install a fuse protecting all of this circuitry. So it has a second fuse inside 
for protection, which is a huge deal. It's something they should have did from the beginning. And uh, <clears throat> so you add it on. It's a couple bucks, right? But uh, here you go, guys. It's a great 27, uh, <clears throat> great 27, great uh, 2995 DXCF. Sorry, it's cold medicine, man. It got me all loopy. <clears throat> I don't like taking medicine unless it's uh, liquid beer. But uh, guys, look, AM, FM, you know, it's got it all. Upper side band, lower, CW, PA. I even tested the PA, that works. So uh, <clears throat> that's it, guys. Good luck. I hope everyone had a good Christmas, and uh hope you guys have a great New Year, and what a good year it would be to start off with a nice radio like this. And it does have the original box it came in. The radio was hardly ever used. Um, from what the uh, gentleman told me and from the looks of it you could tell I mean there's no scratches or dings or face I always protect when I'm working on them but uh, it's really clean all the switches were cleaned and lubed I also uh, cleaned the inside of the meter faces everything on this was clean so this is a spotless like new radio actually better than new it's got fuse protection it's got a high low on it so here you go, guys. You have a good one, and uh, have a happy new year. 73s. God bless.